Are you looking for a way to make your favorite dumb bulb smart? Do you want to put together a portable smart home using just your smartphone? Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do this. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we will talk about how to implement the Philips Hue Bluetooth bulb, say that fast three times, in your smart home. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on the like button, thumbs up. Well, the first thing we need to cover is what is this Philips Hue Bluetooth plug? And I tell you, this is something that is well worth the time to take a look at. And this is a... It's a smart plug, but it's a little bit different. This one is made for lamps only. And that's very important to note up front. It's lamps only. You don't have to have the Philips Hue bridge. So if you want to take this traveling with you and kind of have a little bit of what you've got when you're at home, then that's certainly an option. So let's go ahead and get into the setup and we'll get this thing taken care of. With this being one of the first Bluetooth devices I've run across that was implemented in either a smart home device, whether it be a plug or bulb, thought there was a little more information that we would all benefit from having. So I did some digging for you, and this is what I found. Now, Bluetooth is a limited range situation. Now, depending on the Bluetooth uh, class, that is there you may have 30 to 60 feet maybe less maybe more there are classes out there that get a pretty strong bluetooth device i looked on the back of the philips hue smart plug and did not see anything i could interpret as what class of bluetooth device it is so that's why i kind of went with an average value some devices will be less some devices will be more it just depends on the manufacturing now, to the security on this, right now, this is only just a static value. There is a standard called SEC2 with the Bluetooth Alliance that calls for a unique QR code or pairing value for every device. That's not in this device, but that's not a big deal because I don't see this as being a, a long-range Bluetooth device, but something to keep in mind. Now, there is possible interference with 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi because Bluetooth operates in that same range. So you may need to change the channel on your 2.4 gigahertz AP to move to something else if you have a problem with syncing or controlling the Philips Hue smart plug. Again, this is just going to take some experimentation. Now, if you've got more than one smartphone, this is also something else to look at in that you're going to maybe have a challenge because Bluetooth either can operate on a one-to-one -one pairing situation to where you've got one device that will only talk to another. Some Bluetooth devices will do one-to-many. So I didn't see that specified in the manual. So I would assume at this point that it's one-to-one. -one. I've just not had a reason to see if I can control it with more than one smartphone. When you're setting up that new account for the smart home cloud service or device, please get a copy of my smart home device account checklist you see here on the screen. This will help make sure that everything gets written down that you entered to get that account created. The form will also serve as a backup copy when you get this entered into your password manager app. And if you're not already using a password manager app, please get one now and get started. You will be subscribed to my email list in exchange for the checklist. I won't share, rent, or sell your information to anyone. Now, you do have to use a different app or control program, whatever you want to call it, for the Bluetooth smart plug. But that's nothing that's a big deal. You notice I've got one here on smartphones that's Hughes BT. So we'll just tap on that. You can get it from either the App Store or the Play Store, whichever one that you're working with. And we'll say get started. And yes, it's Bluetooth compatible because as you saw on 
the box shot, it had that little Bluetooth logo. So that makes all the difference right there. So we'll say yes, and then we'll enter our information. Okay, now once you've got this, you get your information entered, go ahead and hit the next button and you'll be on the, this screen. And we're gonna say no, not right now to voice assistant because we wanna crawl before we can walk. So we'll say not right now. And even though it says add light, it's this smart plug thinks it's, it's a bulb. So we're okay. So we'll say add light and we'll allow Hue Bluetooth to access the device location only while using the app and searching for lights. Okay. So now we will plug it in to my trusty smart outlet there. And then we should have, I've got a pairing request, so that's good. So we'll say, okay, and switch it on and off. So obviously it didn't have to be, well, it, I, it probably came on by default. I'm not, I'm not seeing a uh, little light on, so that's fine. So we can't change the name, so that's fine. We can probably do that later. So we'll say done. I've already turned it off and I'm gonna plug in my trusty lamp here and then we will turn this back on by just tapping on that little slider and it says all lights on you can see that that's light light is on there but we'll turn it back off just so you can verify that well okay oh that's because dummy had the light turned off so that was operator error there so that really is has got things taken care of Okay, something that I missed because I thought I could change the uh, Hue plugs name right from the interface and it wouldn't let you just kept buzzing. So you got to go down here into settings and you'll go to lights, Hue plug, and you can go up here and we will just call this, we'll tap on the X there and we'll call this banker's light, which is the kind of fixture that I've got over here. And then we'll tap done. Now, here, these two settings right down here are default and power loss recovery. Philips Hue has heard the cry of some of us who've gotten woke up at 2 in the morning or 3 in the morning when the power company has turned the power back on or they had a power loss. So by default, if power comes back on, the light's going to turn on. But I like the fact that it's got power loss recovery so that if it's off when the power goes off, it will stay off when the power comes back on. So that, that's good. And that's going to be very nice when you're traveling. Now, always make sure that when you bring a new device on that you get the latest update, especially with Bluetooth. We want to make sure that everything's going to be right. So you would just tap on update. And it says mine's up to date because we've already updated it a little bit earlier. So that's set, ready to go. So as you can see, we've got, we'll go up here to the main menu. It's got, the one plug we've got, it shows it as a light. Again, this device is for lights only. Do not put anything with a motor or anything other than a light on it just to be on the safe side. Well, now we're at the part I know everybody's just dying to get started on, and that's routines. We have this Bluetooth smart plug from Philips Hue. It's going to be a little bit different, but it's nothing that you can't handle. So let's switch over to the smartphone and so i've already got it up on the interface that we have to use the phillips bluetooth app so we'll just tap our light make sure it's there okay that's good in occasional bluetooth you will see it time out to where if it's not seeing the bulb right away or when you first go into bluetooth app again from everything that i've seen that's occasionally going to happen nothing that you can't handle so let's go over here into routines and then we'll click create a routine now this is going to like i said it's going to be a little bit different the wake up and it says brighten a light and i thought that the phillips bluetooth uh, smart plug would be seen as a light but as you can see it doesn't so we already know the go to sleep one's not going to work so we'll go down here to timers that you have to think a little bit differently but you can do this so it's our, we've already got our, our banker's light in place so we will call this uh, bulb on 
I'm going to change it from countdown to specific time. So when the timer expires, which in this case, we're going to make it, you know, 8.05 a.m., just to pick a time. Now, when the timer runs out, this is what's important. Since we're turning it on, when this timer runs out, which is not really a timer, but bear with me, we've, we're telling it specific time that when it hits that time, the bulb is going to go on. So we'll click save. And that's just telling you, you got to keep your bulb connected to power. You also got to keep your phone in range too. They don't tell you that, but I found that out because when I, when I go out of range, then it's, um, the bulb quits working. So it's very much dependent on the Bluetooth app. We'll go back here into timer. Then we'll go back here to reselecting our light. And we will call this bulb off. I should call it plug off to be technically correct. Same thing as before. We'll go down here to countdown specific time we're just gonna let this one turn off at 802 i'm looking at my times right here okay so 80 okay 806 because we set the other one for 805 now in this case when timer runs out you will select off so you have to think a little bit differently ignore the fact that it says timer we're we're treating it in very much specific situations i'm going to leave that message coming on just to remind me that the bulb's got to be plugged into power those are set to go for 805 and 806 so you will see this when we go back over here to routines now if you look down here it shows you when there's a timer set to run so that's confirmation now when do you get into a situation that it's already gone past the window of when the timer was supposed to fire off the button may clear momentarily again nothing to worry about but it will at some point within a few minutes maybe an hour it should start showing that there is another timer set because these timers are not ones you set for specific days or weekday versus weekend this is pretty basic in terms of setup but it's nothing that you can't get done and when the timer goes active then you will see it fire off here and it will the button will go active just like now when you let's, let's start over here okay when the timer fires off just like it did then you will see the button go active and then it will tell you the next timer that's set to go off so again this is it, it's pretty good at telling you what's going on now if for some reason it uh doesn't show anything give it a second and it should cycle around if it's not seeing the bulb it will say bulb con not connected or something that order where you can see why it's not firing off or why you don't have control over the bulb so we should see it go off here in just a second okay there we go and see it just went off now like i said at this point it's not showing the timer but give it a little while it may take a few minutes it may take a little bit longer but if you go into routines then you'll see they're, they're still there and they're active so we'll go back here to program it just hasn't it's just going to take it a while to cycle but again nothing that you can't handle just some of the things that i've noticed as i've been working on this if you're watching this on youtube you're going to see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that youtube thinks you might be interested in if this video helps you or provides value please click on the like button thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please click on subscribe and enable notifications we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching